Greetings, I'm Megahard, and welcome back to River City Ransom Underground. And as you may have noticed, I am underground. So this episode especially can be called River City Ransom Underground. So there is a few things I want to show you on top of being able to be underground in this game. Firstly, this is a hideout that is kind of tucked away. Like, where I left off in the last episode, if you go all the way down into the left, it takes you to the area that leads you to here, and I'll show you that in a moment. I've also figured out how to use a few... I also figured out how to use a few of those moves I acquired in the last episode. Which I'll show off here in a minute, when I get a second. So I want to make it all dramatic. And I also did a fair bit of grinding. And those things you see in my inventory are some sort of coffee, I can't- Mayan coffee, that's what it's called. And they restore willpower, among other things. I didn't want to kill him there, but I'll, I'll show off my moves later. This is a few other things I want to show anyways. So we got... This is the Cross Streams River. It's a real pain in the ass to jump all the way over here, but if you... It, it's not so bad to go, like, this direction, but to jump upstream, not so easy. But I believe it's that rock has that book that I was talking about that was for Glenn. So if you're looking for books, be sure to go down these logs. Well, I suppose I didn't show you any of this next area, so I suppose I could take you on a, a quick little tour, I suppose. So here's a little Tokyo garden, which you can use to grind. I don't know if there's a book here or anything. But yeah, it's a, it's a quaint little Japanese-styled garden. And we also have ourselves a uh, jacuzzi place, but we can't go in there because it's not nighttime. You can only go there at night. It's like the sauna, but it's a jacuzzi place. It's a specialty sauna. It doesn't do anything better than the regular sauna does, as far as I know. Uh, yes, and... Yes, I do want that to go. Because <clears throat> the... Uh, I can't remember if I said, but those Mayan coffees give you willpower boosts, and I have a feeling I'm gonna need them. I've also come to realize that those snowball mounds are actually quite useful, because you can just stand there and infinitely throw snowballs at enemies. I got an achievement for throwing so many snowballs. Okay. There, out of the way. Let us continue onwards. To our destination. Alright. So I'm really not sure exactly what is required of me at this juncture. All I know is that I want to defeat our adversaries. It appears they're quite juicy, I should have came here to grind. No, that's... a yarn sword? That's all I got? I suppose I can still kick the sword as though it was a barbell. Which has its merits. And... BBT. It's so satisfying to do that on like, concrete. It's, it's as legit of a finish as anything. So, now we have ventured to the Parkade. I wonder if there's, like, parking garage arcade games here at the Parkade. How about this? Hamp Hamster Zero. That can't be your real name. I think that might be an alias. 
Like, not that I'm judging, but when you start putting numbers in a, in a person's name when they're not, like, an, when it's not an internet handle, that just seems a little inappropriate. Like, I, who am I to judge how you, what you do with your kids, but... Just seems a little unnecessary, if you ask me. Did you ask me? No. But if you did, it was a hypothetical. And like I was saying, I also like to utilize guys as weapons. I should perhaps try to explore a bit more, because last time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna kill all the guys in this area, and then it didn't really do anything. So I'll see if a boss spawns here, or, or something of that nature, and then otherwise I'll just meet you wherever we're supposed to go. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to, like, actually be a tour guide. I just do I want to go on here and it lifts me up. Oh, okay. I understand that. Because it said a lift. Right. Because basic literacy is cool, children. School is not for fools. Yeah, you better run. Me of that sword. He acts like he's never seen an army of one before. With a sword that's twice as big as him carrying it around with with one arm. Like the monster that Bruno is. Oh, we got another million dollar helicopter. I never really thought I'm not gonna want to throw this up here. I will lose it. Well, it's gone anyway, so goodbye forever. We're gonna get another BBT for your trouble. You're all gonna get BBTs if I have anything to say about it. didn't work. I was trying to do something specific, but I failed. Okay, it won't work now, because it doesn't feel like it. It's kind of it's kind of getting on my nerves. There we go. Ow! Moonwalk right into the clouds. But if you do a, a DDT into a moonwalk, very classy. It's a very classy thing to do to your adversaries. It's very taunty. Wrestlers would be proud. There. Murder them in cold blood. Get up. I don't care if you have a helmet, you're getting a big ol' big ol' DDT from old Bruno. Is it the the Bruno T? Maybe I need to just tap it. Also, if on the off chance that a developer of this game actually watches anything I do, it'd be nice if it mentioned that the Moonwalker, like, you have to, like, push the op- like, be facing the opposite direction. I don't feel that's entirely clear in the instructions. It also seems to be a little precise on how it wants you to execute it. So I wonder how long this is gonna go on for. Glad I got all of these items. Need to keep using them. Well, don't forget to use them. To keep using them would imply that I had been using them, and I don't believe that was the case thus far. Bam! Love it. There are more moves I could have unlocked, but once I figured out the BBT, it was... It was a match made in heaven. Come on, let's keep up the pace. I suppose I could eat one of these now. Get out of the way. Bruno guzzled the Mayan coffee. Bruno felt electricity surge to his nervous system. He loved it. Loved it. Don't set me ablaze. on, military operatives. Who taught you how to work, anyways? 
That's the other thing I keep neglecting, that they start blocking and I... I forget that when they block, my punches don't go through. So I should really use my grapples when those happen, so... The BBT is a nice little addition. I'm wondering how many levels this goes up. I feel like this is getting a little excessive. At least I have some willpower. So if I almost die, I won't quite die. It'll be close though. It'll be as though I was almost dead anyways. But I get that extra little bit. Ooh, another purple bill. I wonder if there's some like really sweet shops up here. Maybe this is where the mystery shop is? I haven't found it yet. Like, I was in the tunnel in the original River City Ransom, but I can't say I've really gone through the tunnel with Fine Tooth Comb. When I went to, when I went to that hideout that I showed you at the start of the video, I, I thought for sure that that was going to be the mystery shop, but no, not so much. Anyway, is, are we finally at the top? I think we're getting closer, like, blinds are being drawn. Okay, here we go. Oh, super secret. It's a good thing I did that. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Um, I should probably talk to her. Maybe you can heal me? No? Can I go this way? Can I eat anything? I wonder if I actually wanted to do that. We're gonna find out if I discovered a glitch, ladies and gentlemen. Max special power still improved. I want to see if my my regular stamina improves. Stamina went up by 30. I don't know. Oh, is it just gonna be like, screw you, you're dead now? So I might have to reset. Alright, I made it this time with fewer suicidal tendencies. You ever listen to suicidal tendencies? I mostly only know them from Guitar Hero 2. That's where I know most of my music from, actually. Maybe it's because of Guitar Hero, or only because I just noticed, but it seems like there's a lot of Guitar Hero music on the radio now. At least around where I live. Take that, potted plant. You are sans pot as well as plant. Oh, look at you, Murr, with your... self-portrait. water cooler. I kind of missed the boat on the whole Guitar Hero thing, but then again, YouTube didn't really exist when Guitar Hero first came out. Then by the time I got around to doing anything Let's Play at all. It had kinda run its course. Like, Guitar Hero 3 had come out. No, World Tour was even out at that point. It was definitely on its decline. No, Metallica was out. It was like, yeah, it was like right at the end. And I was gonna try to be on the ground floor for, uh, like, the... like, the revamp that happened, like, what, last year? Guitar Hero... What was it called? Just the, the new Guitar Hero with the, the six frets. And I thought, you know, if I get this on the ground floor, I have as good a chance as anybody of being, like, at the top. But then I got it for my 360 and found out that I couldn't stream from it. And I also had an Elgato capture card. And I hate it with every fiber of my being. And I also hate playing Guitar Hero on TVs that aren't, like, old tube styles. Because the, the timing is just off a little bit. Like, even if you calibrate the lag, it still feels a little bit off. So it's a bit of a disappointment. You may notice that there's an NES game in my inventory. I went to the Warp Zone establishment just outside a little Tokyo before I came here and picked up that particular game. I don't know what it does, but I picked it up. Might be a time to... Ooh, there's a ladder. That looks like, like a Big Show ladder. Oh, I didn't even need to jump. Well, 
may as well keep going until I get any hints that keep going isn't where I want to go. Okay. I have an idea. Don't shoot me with a plane. Oh, I can use that as cover. Good. Good idea, game designers. You get a thumbs up from me. Well, if I remember by the time this is done, you'll get a thumbs up from me, because I'm too busy trying not to perish right now. And I'm also trying to eat an NES card. There we go. Bruno consumed the Coriolo Coriloni cousins. Bruno couldn't wait to step on a bunch of mushroom people. Oh, I get it now. I get the reference. How am I supposed to, like, am I supposed to kill that plane? Is it like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where I have to throw them, like, into the, the plane? I'm guessing not. Well, I'm not noticing a boss. Well, there's more guys, so that's probably why there's not a boss. Or boss music, at the very least. This game's not really expecting me to fight a, a fighter jet. Is it? Maybe. Maybe it is. I'm just not sure how I would take it out. I don't think I can DDT a jet. Oh, that was, that was way too close. Can I... yeah. Use another coffee. Which coffee? Mayan! What a tough military guy. He survived my... Survived my... DDT. He's a, he seems like a particularly sturdy one, anyway. Oh, it's DQ again? Is he just a random guy? Change the name of that last video if he's just a random military dude. Burning through all these coffees. This guy's 30 stock, I'll say. Can he get hit with the lasers? Well, it's not lasers, but... No, it's not looking like it. I certainly did. I'd really appreciate it if you died. There we go. Oh, that's clearly what I need. So, let me venture onward. Oh, did I get a level up? Not a moment too soon. Keep running. It's definitely going to be more jets. Uh, we're going to do this key card thing again. Oh, I can hide in the corner, too. Due to the isometric view of the area. So this is probably going to be more of the same. Same old story. Same old song. And or dance. So I think I will just use my magic. Okay, so you can hit them with the, the jets. Well, you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. If not, you're going to be awfully confused about that statement. What kind of strong man would you have to be to hit someone with a jet? Like to physically pick it up. And... You did not just counter my coffee drinkage. That's punishable by death in most offices. Clearly I was going about this the wrong way. <clears throat> just stand in this corner. Let the gun take care of it. Although I think that's a little excessive trying to take out a school punk with a jet. Like, how much would each one of those bullets be? Those can't be cheap. Are those still gonna spawn indefinitely, the, the machine gun guys? Yeah. Eh. 
That seems to be so. Cover! Alright. Things are getting serious. I can't imagine there's gonna be a whole heck of a lot after all of this nonsense. Yeah, you like that. At least when you die here, you usually have a fair amount of money, so even half of that is a fair bit. I died last time, like, I think I had 70 bucks. Any more key cards? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't matter, though. Hey, Merv. I think there's gonna be a cutscene. Can I drink his liquor? Destroy his liquor cabinet? No. I'm gonna give it a kick anyway. Hey, Merv. So, you're the punk that kidnapped my little angel. I would have preferred if you were dragged here, unconscious. But on the bright side, delivery is easier than takeout. Huh? I thought they were the same. First, I didn't kidnap your little angel, whoever that is. Second, I don't appreciate you sending your goons after me. Third, I don't appreciate you shooting me with a fighter jet. Hey, Chris. Did you miss me? Um, yes. She's your gang leader? She stole my little angel. I rescued you, annoying little mutt, you dingus. Take her. Oh, it was a puppy. Angel! But, wait. How? Slick set me up. I was following him as goons got the jump on me. I woke up in the deepest, darkest part of the school. And you're not gonna believe what I saw before I bust it out. Try me. All that matters is you brought my little Angel back. I owe you so much. Angel means the world to me. Wes will be excited to see her. Wes! Huh? Well, that didn't go as planned. You wanna meet him outside? Is this gonna be like a falling airborne battle? Leave the dog. It might be. How am I not gonna fall to my death? <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm gonna die. Even still, you would you would die. So you're Wesley Snipes. So you're gonna pay for what you did to the boss's dog. Well you certainly know how to make an entrance, but you've got it all wrong. I don't need to know the details, usually where the boss is concerned. It's better not to know the details. Get ready. You're really gonna obscure my view with the... with the clouds? I don't think that's fair. Because, you know, fairness. Like, I could just throw him to his death. But it seems in poor taste to kill the boss by doing that. Unless I'm gonna die, then I, I might just go ahead with it. Well, oh, it won't even necessarily kill him. Well, I may as well just... I may as well have been knocking him off, though. It's just an effective strategy of uh, pain infliction. I wonder who that, that fighter pilot jet guy is. He doesn't look too happy. I don't think the Harrier is built for this kind of fighting. No, I don't think so either. Well, I think that man might also die. With us. Well, they did meet us outside. So, River City is beautiful this time of year. Yes, the cherry blossoms are really blooming in Little Tokyo. Oh, that's okay. So I'm gonna collect all of this money. He's a, you hothead, he's not the villain. Now I've been beating Crash the Jet, it's starting to make sense. Glad that's cleared up. He's a worthy fighter. You all gonna join me, even Merv? The flock didn't kidnap Angel, but they know who did. Join them, and take our vengeance. I love vengeance. Let's regroup to stop Slick once and for all. Again. We can use the auto shop or Cindy's house to plan our next move. Well, this doesn't appear to be the end of the game, but I think the next episode will probably be the finale of River City Ransom Underground. So in any case, 
thank you very much for watching this edition of River City Ransom Underground. I still go by Mega Harv. And join me next time. Don't go in the coffee shop.